So initially when I reached out to Remy, um, I had initially envisioned her on the track We Go Again. Um, and originally she was speaking to the theme of that track, which is to um, forgive yourself, love yourself, understand that there's a new day, um, even after you've made mistakes. As the intro is so reflective and solemn and, and droney, I think it really puts you into a space where you're willing to listen. I think it doesn't start as a hard hit, it doesn't start as um, a danceable track. I think it is a track that sucks you in. And I think what she's saying um, is, is something that a lot of people can relate to. Um, so I think that track and, and the way it was made and the way um, we, it, way we developed it made it a track that I think really sets the tone off right for the whole project. So I think ahead of time after Theon sort of introduced me to the project, um, I had done some of this kind of work before briefly with other musicians and sort of it helped me learn the process of how to create an album artwork or how to work collaboratively. Um, so I went into it sort of knowing, having an idea of the sort of things I needed from him um, to in order to create and in order to start my process and my practice. Um, so I think with this one especially, I came in with my list of questions for Theon of like, what does this mean to you? What are the themes? Um, what sort of motifs and ideas are you working with? But also even the nitty gritty of like, what colours are we working with? what other albums have inspired you or like visually you're trying to relate to. Um, because I think for me, it's I need to be fed. I need as much information as I can get so my creative process can start and out comes the piece from that. So I think we all have moments in our lives where um, we're not always comfortable with where we are, but we know we want to get to, but we're not sure how to get there. And I think trust the journey for me is about just having belief that you're always doing the right thing and in the right place. Um, even though it might feel like it's uncomfortable one, it's about going through um, uncomfortable situations um, to eventually get to the place where you need to be spiritually. And I think for me, um, it can be used in so many different contexts, I think. Um, in life, in, in work, in love, in everything. I think we all go through moments where we have uncertainty, um, but we just need to be certain, especially if we're moving honestly and at one of ourselves that when we're doing the right thing, we do the practice, we do the work, we will end up where we need to be and we just need to trust the journey. And I think the music reflects that because I think the music starts off in an uncomfortable place and it's got a weird, time signature and everything and then it ends up in a place where it uplifts and I think that's just a reflection of um, how we need to move as people. The whole concept of intro eye is about going into self and each track represents that and I guess each of the painting was, was a conversation about how to um, get the theme of the track in, in a, into a painting. Um, so for example, Intra Eye was all about the journey into self and um, often that comes at times where we have trepidation in our lives and things aren't going our way. So some of the elements that sort of link all of them together, for one is the, the dark backgrounds. Um, and I think for me, I sort of started to imagine it as this, in this journey into self, represented by the first image, we were going to be in this sort of dark space and in this dark space, there'd be these sort of visions or like vignettes almost of each song. So each artwork is sort of, if you were wandering through this dark space, you might turn and see this as the representation of the, the track. Before creating this track, uh, my dad passed away uh, in March 2020. And um, yeah, it was a period where I went through a lot of grief and a lot of reflection and really trying to uh, come to terms with the new reality that, that death brings, especially when it's a parent or someone that um, is very close to you. Um, but for me, uh, the beauty of being a musician is that you can transform grief 
into art which 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 doesn't die art lives around forever so for me it was important to create a track that um, expressed the sentiment of um, grief but also belief because for me um, even though he's, he's not here presently I believe he is still here and he's still guiding me and he's still uh, watching over as well as it being a healing process for me uh, it's more of a means to create something that I'll Others can also relate to. I guess the whole idea of this album is to incorporate as many different styles that represent who I am. And for Play to Win, um, that represents um, an interesting grime that I've always had. Um, as a teenager, that was just the sound that you would listen to when you came home from school, put on Channel U or you even turn on the pirate radio and I think that is a period that reflects part of my identity as much as reggae or, or music from the West Indies. That was the sound of Black London. I mean the black and blue was first and foremost from Theon. That was part of my first interview questions to him. I was like, what colours? You've got to put me in the direction somewhere. I can't say you would like. Um, so yeah, the, the Black and Blue I think was something you were inspired by, mm. and the album you were inspired by. Um, so that really grounded me. But I think in my own work, like colour has always been really important, and colour relationships. I don't think I use quite so much black in my work usually. Um, but I think it's, yeah, I think it really complemented the sort of style, the minimalism, the interplay of colours. That's uh, what I was doing anyway. It really worked. Oren Marshall is a fantastic tuba player, um, both in the classical and orchestral world, but also in the jazz and funk and everything outside of that. Um, and for me, he was someone I always saw in the London jazz scene doing innovative things on the tuba, um, like using effects or, you know, doing tuba orchestras, just, you know, just with himself and multiple others. Um, and he actually taught me when I was at the Guild Hall um, the Guildhall School of Music and Drama studying and was has always been someone I've, I've looked up to and taken inspiration from. So it was a really good um, experience working for him. Um, I'd always enjoyed had, having lessons with him um, whilst I was studying and even personally he was always someone that I would often reach out to have a play, a hang um, and a, a real get together and during the creation of the album, that was one thing that occurred. He invited me around to his house to have a play and a catch up. Um, and it just felt like a natural progression to just ask him to be a part of the project, and um, particularly to finish off the, the album. Because um, I think, although the album is about honoring our family and people that come before us, I think our mentors and our teachers are also the people that make up who we are. So. He is part of the journey of, of understanding myself. So it was very important to have him on the album and it felt like a, a real full circle moment, having him on the project and, and using his influence to, to help finish off the album.